recording. We don't have like a, a name for this shit yet or anything. Are the batteries in? Yeah, there's batteries. It's good. It's okay. going. What? It just looks like it's... <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the lights are on and everything. So this podcast is not about getting stoned, and yet here we are. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's gonna part of it's gonna be about that. For any work story I have, is probably going to involve marijuana in some way. At a certain point, it ha- ha- had to. So had we're to. we're here with Must. Portland comic uh, Keith Cameron. Hi, hey, Keith. everybody. Hi. You wanna? Tell them, uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell them, tell them what, tell them what yeah. you do. Yeah. Tell them uh, uh, shows you have and uh, social media, all that jazz. All right. I, uh, I host a show called Mean Words with Friends. This is at Buell Land every third Thursday at 9.30. It's a roast battle competition. A um, couple comics. It's 12 comics. They go head-to-head, uh, tournament style. The winner ends up walking away with uh, Bruvana's... Uh, a donation from our sponsors from Bruvana, which is pretty cool. Shout out to them. They're What's that? Hey, Bruvana. Bruvana. It's the oh. it's the beer tours. They do that. They go around breweries and do little beer <laughs> things. And do little beer things. That's... I heard it as Brovana, and Bro-vana. I thought it was gonna Bro-vana. be like. Uh, uh, hey, dude, you want to go do dude stuff? <laughs> I thought it was gonna Bro-vana. be like a yoga. <laughs> you want to like push ups, bro? Yeah, yeah, you want to go do push ups. <laughs> Well, yeah, that was going to be like a weeks. yoga thing and meditation yeah. center yeah. that's geared towards, like, macho like men. But like, but, like, try to get bro. macho men into the world bro of, uh, yeah. yeah, it was Bravana. <laughs> no, Bravana. They, uh, they're a beer tour. Bruvana. They give, uh, they're giving us, uh, some glasses and a growlette to give to the winner. Um, like cash. prescription glasses? Prescription glasses, <laughs> yes. It's uh, bifocals because... I mean, contacts and uh, con- Contacts. <laughs> that we, could do, we couldn't afford contacts. That's, uh, and, that's uh, too big of a... LASIK. And LASIK, is that, is, that is that's just cheaper that's if you go on 1-800... No. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, but that's, that's about what I do. That and I work a bunch. Do you guys ever, yes. like, do Halloween like shows? You could all dress up as Street Fighter characters? I would love to do that. I want to be uh, Ryu. Are that would you? be kind of cool. That actually, you know... In Mortal Kombat, because I don't know how many characters Street Fighter has. Probably a lot. I haven't played it since I was like seven. I mean, there's enough. There was the... There's enough? Yeah. There's that beast guy. Yeah. Uh, Blanca? Yeah. 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 Being Blanca would be fun. <laughs> this is about work, but we're getting into like a TED Talk about <laughs> Street Fighter Street characters. Fighter. Uh, this podcast is, is about uh, potential Halloween costumes and <laughs> which is work related. The pros and cons. So really, what we're trying to focus on is work stories. Yeah. And uh, the reason we want to <coughs> start with Keith with this podcast is because he is currently a bouncer. At uh, is that the correct terminology? Uh, uh, like uh, I work a doorman. A doorman. A doorman. Well, it doesn't sound like you, you work know, at a, I, I, a fancy whatever you feel the uh, pro, like. He works. Okay, not even sound cliche. Different nights, it's different things. Gotcha. Sometimes I'm about to where it's like, no, you can't come in here, crazy person. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have an ID and I don't have any money. Well, then you probably don't have the gun you just threatened me with. That's <laughs> how, how money works. You have to have one. Yeah, to have yeah, money, yeah, to get a gun. Um, but no, like, uh, and then some nights it's mm-hmm. like I'm just there. At the door, taking IDs, talking shit. Mm-hmm. Nothing big. So all three Nothing of big. since Mark and I work in dispensaries, all three of us have to deal with people that are like, I don't have an ID. Yeah. I don't have a driver's license. Be like, how do you get? Especially when it's like a middle-aged white dude in like a business suit who's like, I don't have an ID. And it's like, how do you get through life? Yeah. You must have an ID. How do you get that suit? <laughs> yeah. I just don't want to take it out. Yeah. It's um, crazy. I don't know. Like, uh, I, if I, I just don't like deal with it I kind of like hey, it's cool you just, but not tonight you can't maybe if because they always say some shit well I know the owner and I'm like well they wouldn't <laughs> I doubt it <laughs> I uh, doubt it I really their doubt name it. is uh, um, alright you gotta go uh, well, how does that help you it's like the owner doesn't want you coming in here without an ID either, yeah so that's, like, that fuck, logic man. never like <laughs> you're being an asshole well, you can't fucking tell me what to do and they don't always sound like they're from New Jersey or New no yeah but, but yeah. it's you hear that voice and you're like I know this guy yeah. and nine times out of ten you're hey, like bro. that yeah you're right it's always that guy 
Um, like I was telling you about that dude who came in with an attitude that had like the Hawaiian shirt with the button and oh, yeah. it was open up top and at bottom, like one was buttoned, like too it's much. almost it's, the cholo, but it's yeah, in the middle. It's like it's, it's too cold for all of that to be out. All right. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, you're not, it is a shirt. So, uh, I've also learned that like, I know there's good people with <clears throat> Neck tattoos, <laughs> but, but like, mm. I see neck tattoos and I'm like, eh, I don't gonna, know. It's gonna might start so, some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had to put anybody out? Put anybody down? I've I've had to d- take care of a few things. Uh, a few <laughs> things get interesting really really quickly. Yes. Um, like the other night, I was uh, at a place in uh, Old Town, uh, Portland, and and like there was. This guy and this girl, and they were kind of like, not, at first it was all friendly, and then they kind of, it seemed weird enough while I was sitting inside to be like, maybe I'm going to go smoke a cigarette and kind of feel um, out the situation. Out the, yeah. And uh, then this other woman walks up, and I quickly learned that it's a husband, a girlfriend, and then the wife. Oh. And... <laughs> It was weird because, like, the the, uh, the bartender was like, uh, yeah, before you came outside, uh, I was like, yeah, you know, you can come in and have a glass. Like, no, I don't want to get you in trouble. And it was just kind of like, y'all just, what happened? Anyway, what <laughs> happened was uh, this guy ended up going apeshit and, uh, long story short, punching uh, and knocking out this woman. His girlfriend. Wife? The girlfriend, oh, girlfriend. Because she fought the wife. And it was oh, a and whole he doesn't situation. let anybody fuck and, with his and, wife. And, and it was a whole situation, and it, like he ended up not having a good night. Um, like, like, Tyler, like, Tyler this, like, this is the first, this is the first situation to that's ever like ended like, kind of like crazy like this. Yeah, <laughs> because it's kind of like there's open charges on this dude now. It's kind of Jesus, and it it all happened. And I was like repeatedly like when they the argument started, kind of like. Mm. I was like, y'all, just not here. Yeah, yeah, just take it out. Take it outside. Guys, like, like, no, just stop. Why would you and watch that shit in close space? Usually that diffuses things. Yeah, yeah. Um, usually. Yeah. Seems like tensions could be high in that sim- like specific yeah. situation. But most, yeah. most nights it's chill. I, uh, I've learned the past few years that there are a lot of people that do not mind putting their what should be private shit oh no right out in the fucking public. sure <laughs> at the first weed store that i ever worked at this woman came in on her phone yes. bawling yep to crying her eyes out on the phone and she comes in she gives us her id <laughs> we check her in and then she walks away from the counter and goes and like sits down in the lobby and for 15 minutes it's like he cheated on me this happens he all the time at my work friend. it's so she weird kept calling her best friend best friend mm-hmm. <laughs> that's one of the weirdest things i've ever yeah. fucking heard my friend aaron can repeat the story too that's crazy because she was there and she goes he cheated on me best friend i can't believe it best friend i'm gonna kill him and we were like ma'am you can't sit in here <laughs> yeah do any of this premeditated at this point oh it's insane people especially at the and weed stores will come in and be like, so my wife and I are trying to find something that's like really sexually aroused. It's like, dude, just look that up online. Yeah. Why and are then you come to us? us? Okay, like, <laughs> and, you know, me. Uh, I was just talking about the guy that has like the, the charges uh, against him. Um, it's it's like, I, I never want to involve cops. Yeah. Like, I never, because let's be real, cops are not the greatest judges of character. Not all, but most of them. Mm-hmm. Or we're they just don't say, always there's, help the there's, situation. There's, there's, it's a crap I just say there's plenty yeah. of, there's plenty of uh, uh, fuck-ups. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I don't want to be responsible for somebody dying because they're a drunk piece of shit. Yeah, because like, they're having a drunk episode. But, like, I have to use logic a lot of the times. Like, mm-hmm. people are like, no, I would have just... And I'm yeah. like, no, you can't always. Yeah, well, like, if you hurt the guy, you can get in fucking trouble. Yeah, too, because right? there's like, still, like, there's so many laws that apply to me. Yep. Uh, more so, like... Uh, if I have to defend myself, I cannot get them in a rear naked choke. Yeah, yeah, you can't like, put it because there in danger, basically. Yeah, yeah, I. But I can do. Uh, it's yeah, weird. yeah. You um, can fuck with their arms and stuff, right? Yeah, like, and I technically them, cannot be a. I can not be restrain, but I can't yes. mm-hmm. but unless I'm physically assaulted. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you can defend yourself. Uh, yeah, to a certain. It's so weird the different. But anyway. Um, I was saying all that to say, there's this guy that was at uh, one of my bars, and 
he goes up to these two women and he's just he's just drunk. Uh, and he goes up and lights up a cigarette and like puts his hand on one of the chick's lower back, nice. which is like let's not you don't know baller about, move. That's not that's not <laughs> that's not the greatest maneuver. Yeah. And then at first I was like he must know them. The uh, the friend that was uh, not being touched was like who the fuck are you? And like, oh, we don't know each other at all. This is the whole situation. Oh, they're not friends. So she just unloads on him, and then I step in. I'm like, dude, you're making them feel uncomfortable. You're gone. Like you're out of here. You gotta go. Gotta go. Um, and then he was like, what? What the fuck are you kicking me out? And I'm like, all right, check wow. this out. What if your girl or your mom was outside and somewhere just like some dude just like went yeah. up and touched her? Yeah. He's like, man, I'd be so pissed. I'm like, okay, leave. Think about and it. And you yeah. can see <laughs> the visible gears turning in his head. Yeah, like, trying oh, to figure no, out the situation. Simple. Okay. And yeah. just leaves. And I'm like, yes, thank you. Thank you. But other times it's not that. A lot of people just have no perspective. Like, they never think from anybody else's perspective. Yeah. They're just like, I'm a baller. <laughs> I never thought that I would do this kind of job, like, and be good at it. Like, yeah. I'm not, like, in a, like, I don't, I'm not an aggressive person. Yeah. I'm pretty freaking chill, and this oh, is yes. the approach that I have towards my job. Mm-hmm. Um, is try to chill them the yeah, fuck out. Yeah, just, like, yeah. if I could talk to you and avoid a situation, oh, my God, I'm mm-hmm. going to do it. Because it's, it's I wear a bulletproof vest at this point. Like, Jesus. You know, not because I'm like getting shot at every night. But because uh, you're downtown. <laughs> well, yeah. And you know what? It's more so because of stabs. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. That's more so why I wear it because I don't want to get... Yeah, I think you're much more likely to I don't want to wake up psycho. dead. Yeah. You know, like I wake up and then I'm dead. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> None Not of us want that for you either, Keith. <laughs> yeah, no, like, uh, I never thought I would do this kind of work when I had, like, random, like, server jobs. And, mm-hmm. Like, I've always been good with people, but this is a whole other form of being... It's like an extreme weird. form of it's being good with people. the weirdest form of yeah. customer service. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, like, my life's revolved around it. Like, you were wanting me to save this story. Uh, like, I remember one of my first jobs. Like, I, I was, like, rolling silverware under the table, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Doing that shit growing up. And then I uh, was living out on my own at 17. My mom was like, well, my restaurant's hiring part-time. And I'm like, mm-hmm. fucking, I could use the extra income. Yeah. I was a, a mascot for this, I guess I could say, it was Famous Dave's. I was the pig. Hey, I was the giant. <laughs> I, I was, was the, the giant. <laughs> but you know what? Full circle. I'm a security guard pig. I've been called like a cop. And I'm like, I don't. Yeah. I was approached oh, by a cop. And he was like, dude, I've seen you work before. You're really calm under pressure. Would you ever want to be a cop? And I had... St- it took everything in my power not to be like the the Nelson from Simpsons. Or, hey. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna Wait, do was it. he saying um, that he saw you working under pressure as the mascot? No, 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 no. security, like like oh. like bouncing and shit. Like, dude, they uh, poured that like, food right in that truck. You didn't move them. But no, anyway, so I'm like were, this pig mascot for like two Dave's weeks. Pig. Did you know the Shoney's Bear? Uh, no, we hung out. We hung out at <laughs> the mascot club. Uh, yeah, restaurant it was uh, people call it furries. It's just the boys. <laughs> <laughs> just the boys are the Does Shonies exist down here? I feel no. like I've seen shells of I, some. I don't know. I wonder where Shonies cuts off. Um, <laughs> I've yeah. never heard the name. Oh. Put up six thirty. You get a really We're bad, open uh, Mondays. You get a mediocre <laughs> buffet, but there's a cool guy in a bear suit. What right. buffet? Right. Um, <clears throat> but no. So I worked there about a week and a half, and like. I was the mascot, and I would have to stand out on the road, and it's not any road in oh, in Georgia. It's like <clears throat> Highway 78. It's this big, active, like, seven-lane highway. Oh, God. And, uh, so I'm just out there fucking... It's too many people in the road. Just hot and dancing. And, and, like, <laughs> hot <laughs> and dancing. Dude, like, they were like, be energetic, and I'm like, I'm trying to be... It's 100 So, like, degrees. I would try my hardest to stay, like, kind of... It's like a Does weirder the- sign-spinning... Uh, Does the mascot have a name like Hot uh, Toddy? It was oh jeez, <laughs> Hot Toddy. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, you uh, said you were dancing out. Oh God, it was. It, what the name? Welcome was to the, the stage, name? Hot Toddy. Uh, we'll fix. We'll, we'll yeah. I'll Is get the back pig to you. Dave? On that. <laughs> I don't know. I really forgot the name of the pig, but it was like okay. There's probably uh, a name. There's probably a name. For Mark it. might be looking at. I was. I was only like. <laughs> it wasn't like a long term. It wasn't like I did the three years. No, <laughs> it was a week and a half because it was hot. I was sick of people finding out that I was doing that shit and like driving by and being like queer and like just saying <laughs> and like 
fuck you, Keith. Like, that's not even cool. <laughs> just driving past the highway, just yelling at me. When um, you're already hot and miserable. Yes. Fucking pig but seat. then the, 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 Wilbur. the, the end, the last <laughs> yeah, day the pig, of course. was, oh, I almost got fired because, like, I went in the restaurant. I was just hot. And I took my head off uh, of the pig. And this little girl sees me do that. <sighs> And it freaks out. I'm like, no, oh, I just beheaded a thing she thought was cute. Uh-huh. Like, well, like right in learn. front of her. And like, you know, like it wasn't, she wasn't like 13. Uh, she was a little girl and I felt really bad. But also, yeah, I could have waited like a handful of more steps before I was like. I late. guess so. Um, uh, she would have found no, out eventually. So this dude comes up to me uh, and he pulls on my tail and like I'm on this kind of hill a little bit uh, and and he pulls me back a little bit and I whip around I'm like you want your fucking ass beat my pig and like that's that's why I don't work there that's because I was super aggressive super quickly but it was like why pull my tail dude I'm like I don't want to do this anyway it is what like, happened you're gonna get beat up like I'll, you will catch these porky hands like you will. catch these pork chops so fucking humiliating working in a job like I've never had a job quite like that, but one similar to that where, so like, stupid. people you know are coming by and seeing you. And, like, when I worked at Ani Ann's in high school and I'm in my little apron and hat. And I had, like, a big mohawk at that point <laughs> that I'd have to shove my fucking little Ani Ann's hat over top of. That's so funny. it would be, like, sitting oddly on top of my head. And, you know, people from school walking by and, like, seeing me and my friend Tyler Hawk just, like, sitting there in our aprons just selling pretzels. But, you know... <laughs> We got high out in the parking lot all the time. It was a pretty dope job. But it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I know what you mean. Yeah. You uh, worked fast food. Oh, yeah, obviously you did. Well, yeah, well, that's, that's really the closest. Yeah, oh, yeah, working in the mall food court. There was this one time that we were, uh, it was super fucking packed, like super busy, like a Saturday afternoon. We got 15 people in line. People are doing the bullshit where as they get up to the register, they're like, hmm, let me see what I want. I'm like, you've had... Mm. 20 minutes to think about this shit. So I'm on edge because I, you know, getting paid five bucks an hour. This is like 2002. Five bucks an hour to make pretzels. Um, And I'm trying to like wipe down the counter really quickly just to like get all, because we had a little coffee station. I'm just trying to get all like the half and half and stuff off the counter. And as I'm quickly wiping it down, I accidentally hit the uh, tiny trash can that we had on the counter okay. that was, like, filled with half-empty, half-and-half containers and everything. Uh. So I hit it with my hand and send it flying out into the food court. <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, 30 feet out into the fucking food court and lands amongst all the tables, and all these people stop and look over, like, what the fuck was that? And my boss comes over, and she's like, go into the back. Hmm. And I was like, what? And she's like, go in the back right now. What? And I go stand back there, and I'm like... I didn't know. I'm like, I wonder, am I in trouble or something? And she comes back and was like, do you need to take the rest of the day off? You cannot have outbursts like that. And I was like, do you think I did that on purpose? <laughs> and I got so mad at the people in the food court that I was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> 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 Trash, you trash. Hit all this like, milk out and all these people. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> I had to go out and like fucking sweep and mop it all up. It was... I, like stare at them. <laughs> stare at the people in the food cart. Like, I, where's apparently that? she was not the only one that thought I did it on purpose. I was trying to be a good employee. <laughs> <laughs> That's that fucking job where I had the story that I've told on stage before about uh, it's the first time I ever got high and went to work. So it was on a Friday afternoon. I get off school at like one forty-five. I was supposed to be at work at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I had no idea that the schedule had been changed. So, like, 2.15, I'm out in the woods with my friends smoking weed, and my boss calls my cell phone. It's like one of those old little flip phones. I answer it, and she's like, you're supposed to be here at 2 o'clock. And I was like, oh, no. I had just taken, like, my fourth gravity bomb. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, great. So I go up to the mall. It's like I'm an hour late because I have to, like, go home, throw on my clothes and everything. And to hide the fact that I was... I'm. When I'm that high, I have come up with, like, weird logic. To hide the fact that I was high, I wanted to, like, have something to give my boss that would make her happy 
to distract from the fact that I was so obviously stoned. <laughs> so I took the Santa Claus hat that <laughs> I was supposed to have returned like six months before when we were doing this Christmas shit and her, and she kept bothering me about it for months like, Tyler, bring the fucking Santa hat back. <laughs> so that day, I took the Santa hat in with me. Tyler Hawk made fun of me for this after she left for the day because she's t- the way Tyler Hawk tells me, he's like, so you come into work so obviously baked and the first thing you do is walk up to Pookie. That's my boss's name. <laughs> walk up to Pookie and hand her the Santa hat and say, hey, I brought the Santa hat. It's so obvious you're trying to win over her favor. So she leaves. I'm standing there. Two cops. Oh, I left out a part of the story. I was so high, I uh, kind of accidentally hit a car in the parking lot <laughs> in the mall. Nice. It's because I thought, long story short, I thought it was snowing even though it was like <laughs> even though it was like May or June. I thought it was snowing. Because it's completely all of the sunny. <laughs> well, and I thought it was, it was like, oh my God, we're going to die. It's fucking snow. It was a windy day. And all these little white flower petals had blown off of this big tree and were blown around in the parking lot. And I was like, is it snowing? So I parked my car and I got out of the car. Fucking cherry blossoms. So I got out of the car and as I opened up the door, the wind caught my car door and slammed it into the van next to me. And I was like, oh no. (laughs) And I was like, I'm not fucking sticking around. I'm too high to like stay. I'm not. Oh yeah, no. I was like, these people are obviously middle-aged people with a van they have money I am a 16 year old with nothing I am leaving so that's how I justified it and I and I have a gravity bong in my car and I'm getting the fuck out yeah <laughs> so I drive to the other side of the mall <coughs> and I park on the complete opposite side hoping that just nobody witnessed anything that nobody saw shit so um, I go into work give Pookie the Santa hat and as I come out into the front of the store there's two police officers standing there at the register and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, they have already tracked me down. Somebody obviously saw me like in my Auntie Anne's gear as I was like, what are there, bees or something, Mark? You look- <laughs> <laughs> Here's some sort just of hearing some noises. So okay. I slowly walk up to these cops <laughs> and I'm like, hold on, I'm going to take a hit of this. <laughs> and I'm like, hold on, I'm going to take a hit of this. <laughs> So I'm like, can I help you guys with something? I'm so sure they're going to be like, yeah, you fucking crashed into a car, you psychopath. And we <laughs> tracked you down. I'm like, you know, we have security cameras, right? <laughs> so instead, this one cop goes, yeah, I'll just take a uh, medium lemonade. And I was like, oh, thank Christ. <laughs> so I go over and somehow in between hearing medium lemonade and getting over to the drink station, my brain translated that to... Two large cups of ice. <laughs> so I filled up two large cups with nothing but ice, put the caps on them, and was like, I did it. I got through it. <laughs> Don't ever know I'm hot. Don't ever know. You're not going to know I'm high. Oh. I didn't fuck anything up. This was perfect. So I take these two large cups of ice, and I put them <laughs> on the tray, and I push them towards the cup, and I'm like, there you go. And he looks at it, and he goes, uh, I asked for a medium lemonade and I go, Oh yeah, this, these are for your partner. <laughs> I'll have yours ready in a minute. And then he turned and looked at his partner and his partner goes, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> and I went, I'll have somebody come help you guys in a second. And then I just turned and walked in the back and I was like, somebody else needs to go help the cops. <laughs> I was like, I'm not fucking doing it. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> for your partner. Oh, oh shit. Yes. God damn. Yes. Uh, but he's standing right there. I used to get there. so high at that job. So yeah. high. Right. So we had a gravity bong in your car. And then we'd bring it in to our little Ani Ansang had a bathroom in the back, so we'd bring it in when we knew Pookie wouldn't be back for the mm-hmm. rest of the day. If she took the laundry with her, we knew she wouldn't be back. <laughs> she had to wash our uh, aprons and shit. That was kind of, we figured it out over a couple of years. Like, if she leaves the laundry, she's coming back. If she takes it, she's not planning mm-hmm. on coming back for the rest of the night. So, we would bring the gravity bomb into the bathroom. And, like, one of us would stand guard in the back hallway that, like, led to all these different, like, food court yep. restaurants and, like, the food, Foot Locker and stuff. I almost said Food Locker. <laughs> food Locker. <laughs> food Locker. <laughs> it's... We got a size 13. It's, 
Yeah. Slab. So one of us would stand guard just to make sure no security guards were coming through, and the other one would like smoke in the bathroom, and yeah, just get high as shit. It was great. I loved that job as long as Pookie wasn't around. Fucking grown woman named Pookie tried to get me to take her to prom. She said, "Do you have a prom date yet? I'll go with you." Like people will be like, "Oh my god, he's with a grown woman." I was like, "Yeah, what the they'll be fuck? like he's with a thirty-four-year-old woman." She's my manager. Yeah, <laughs> she's my manager at the food court. She uh, yeah. kind of sexually harasses me all the time. She'd make blowjob jokes to me all the time. And I'm just like, inappropriate, Pookie. <laughs> <laughs> so, sexual harassment. <laughs> 16, 34, you gotta stop. So, like, I was working at a, another restaurant. And, like, have you ever said some shit you kind of regret? Pretty sure somebody else heard it and, like, nothing was said after that. It happened like that because, like, I was on speakerphone kind of talking to my buddy and then like, I say loud enough to him, but not like right into the phone. I'm like, dude, my manager's so goddamn sexy. Like I would, like it would be like I said something juvenile. Yeah, shitty, yeah, yeah. You know, like I'm a thing or so bad. And yeah, yeah. Bounce up and down, different dire- Like shut the fuck up. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Uh. And then like, <laughs> like I don't know how long she was on for me, like being a stupid kid. Uh. But then she was like, Yeah, you work uh the next three mornings. Uh, see you later. And it was just like, I, I was really aware. I'm like, I didn't, oh, I should have listened for a click. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's when, um, no, nothing was ever said though. But like, maybe like a weird look or two. Mm-hmm. But it was, whatever. It's her fault for being beautiful. No, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. Um, yeah, uh, this is... This Damn, there was some. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why this made me think of that. Or why that made me think of this. <laughs> That's the way to say it. Um, so at, at Ani Ann's, there was this. Uh, I had two co workers named Carl and Jessica <coughs> that one day got into like this bath, back and forth doing like racial jokes to each other. And it's really damn funny. Like, <laughs> both of them were being really funny. Jessica was like stepping over the line, but it was hilarious about white be like, but she was really going after Carl for being white, like harshly, but in a very funny way. Uh-huh. And Carl was doing like, you know, he didn't want to go too hard, but oh, was yeah. like joking back with her about stuff. And then she said something, I forget exactly what she said, but then he took his apron and put it on top of his head like a clan hood. Oh. And then before he could even get his joke out, she went, fuck you, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> And they got huge Seems like a Carl thing to do. <laughs> and the look on poor Carl's face. Well, I was just like, oh, buddy, you mm. shouldn't uh, No, I can yeah. see why you thought maybe, but... Yeah. that's not nice to do. It's just rude. Um, <laughs> and, like, yeah, that's, like, the shit, like, you were, uh... You kind of know how long you being a bouncer and shit. It's so weird. The shit people do and say and feel like there's zero repercussions. Because I, I grew up in Atlanta, um, and... and Okay, out here I had a guy. Uh, it was at a um, it was at a bar that was showing the UFC fight, and he wouldn't show me his ID. Like on multiple occasions, tried to like sneak in. Like you gotta show me. He's like, oh, all right, cool. And like wander off and do try to do it again. Like three times, he avoided free like a little asshole. I'm trying to sneak past you. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, you're wearing the most loud ass, colorful jacket I've ever seen. Like I'm gonna be able to spot you. Um, the ladies like it, bro. Yeah. So <laughs> then he he uh, he's like, "Well, you're gonna fucking kick me out now?" I'm like, "Yes, you're dude. You're done. Like, you can't even like show me. It's free. You show me your ID. You get a wristband. You go in. Yeah. That's how free works. That's, how easy That's it all is. this is." And then he like, oh, "Oh yeah, well I got something for you." Reaches in his jacket. My brain goes like Atlanta mode. Like, yeah, uh, uh, he's gun. gonna have a gun yep. yeah. or something. So I, I pick him up and I take him down on the ground. Somebody mm-hmm. in the crowd calls the cops. I'm like, "Dude, yeah, he's been fucking with us all night." Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Whole situation. Uh, the cop show up he didn't have a gun a knife a poorly alert, worded letter like nothing he just he was just reached it he was just what? trying to intimidate what you? the fuck like who does that Dip what kind of shit i thought you were like, going to say he was going like, to pull out a business card and be like look uh, no, I, thought yeah. I thought he was yeah. going to yeah. have his ID <laughs> my, <laughs> like, I was just playing with you bro ID. like nah he was all like 
I got something. Like, it was, that's yeah, not, yeah. in Atlanta, you got hear something that something, you, you hear that in Atlanta, and it's like, I got something for I, you, and it's mm-hmm. not like, it's not a here's, good here's thing. Some cake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's never, uh, it's never I got something a positive. For you. I've been thinking about you for a little bit. I see you out here. You're cold. Here's a sweater, bro. You're standing this. out here all night. No, no. It's it's it's. Uh, I feel like uh, there's this difference. A gun. Yeah, yeah. That's what it, it fucking between, implies. Yeah, the East Coast and West Coast. I know Mark might disagree because he's grew up on the West Coast and is not like this. But like, I'm <laughs> shocked by how many times. Like in this city, I've been walking home in the middle of the night, and somebody from the shadows under a bridge will be like, "Hey, hey, hey!" And as I like, walk quickly away from them, they're like, "I just wanted to ask you if you have a cigarette." And yeah. I'm like, well, then don't run at me. Don't be shrouded in darkness. Like exactly. A movie. Fucking act like a normal. I just wanted to sing. I'm like, God damn! If you did that to somebody in like Baltimore, they might yeah, shoot yeah, at you. Yeah, they might. Yeah, they might you might die. In my time. Well, the fuck um, is your I've never had so many people be like, "You want to fucking go? You want to fight? Let's go!" As they're walking towards their car, yeah, as they run fucking, away, yeah, I'll kick like, your what, fucking you ass. You, you, go you really want to go? <laughs> boop boop. You want to go? Like they're let's unlocking go. their car let's door. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's you want to come with me? Come on, we can both go. We should go hang out sometime. You been to Timberline? Yeah, you been to Timberline? Yeah, it's really nice this time of year. Like a free coffee in the lobby. You got your own skis? You got your own? You can borrow mine, bro. We can share. Come in snowshoes. One at a time and just hold hands. Like it's never, yeah. Let's go. Tie our middle legs together and just put our knees up. (laughs) Yeah, it was just weird shit. So, like, uh, snowshoe three legged race is that what you were just referencing, Mark? Yeah, tie your legs together. Yeah, fun. I don't snowshoeing across Trillium Lake. There's a like jump. Trillium. We might die. Yeah, fucking snowshoeing across a frozen lake the other day. Coming from, I know this is like branching off big time from what we're talking about. Yeah, for sure. But growing up Sounds in the like south, work. and then coming here and being able to go up on a volcano and snowshoe across a frozen lake is just bizarre as shit to me. It does sound bizarre. It sounds like <laughs> some Nicolas Cage movie shit. Yeah. There were people going across in ATVs, so I was like, okay, yeah, I okay, could definitely man. snowshoe across this. Fucking weird, man. Yeah, but, but it I, is still kind of intimidating. I yeah, cleared um, snow off the... It was like six inches of snow on the ice, and I cleared it off, and it, the ice was all, like, wavy and bubbly instead of smooth. Mm-hmm. And I was like, how do people ice skate on natural bodies of water? Yeah. I don't get it. Are they all like that? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really had much experience with the frozen waters. Yeah. Of I'm Oregon. still freaked out if I think too much about the oh, fact that the mountains that we go hang out around... T- here are volcanoes. I'm like, and then what exploded don't talk like about fucking, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like there's a reason we don't talk about it, Tyler. Well, the fucking That's West Coast, scary. like, I'm I don't know why I moved here <laughs> when this is all the it has all the shit that I was so scared of as a fucking kid. As a child, I was like terrified of volcanoes and earthquakes, and now I fucking moved out to Oregon where it's like, yeah, they happen. So they were just really close to my car. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole reason I wanted to uh, focus a podcast about work stories is just because of the picture of Mark doing samples <laughs> at Costco. And <laughs> this was thick, Mark. Um, yeah, I was, a, I was a bit thicker back then. Thick, Mark. Uh, T-H-I-C-C. He looked like a dude who would definitely win the bench press in his gym class. If you <laughs> oh, that picture the on the TGIF was you, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, you were you I was were a big boy. boy when I was young. So, yeah, with thick Mark, you spell Mark C- with a CK at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you looked like any thick bassist boy. in an emo band. Thank you. No, it's like, always the big guy is always the bassist. He's, he's, he's a little bit big, he still rocks is. out, but he's a little bit big. Well, at like, first, in that, that poster I made, I also had a picture of you in your Blink-182 shirt singing. Oh, yes. That picture. And then there was a picture of me at 16 with a goatee holding a blunt and so high. And I'm like, <laughs> so that's why I was going to say bad influences. <laughs> <laughs> but then I really couldn't get it to work, so I just did the mohawk pictures. The mohawk but, pictures are perfect. But though. the picture of you wearing the hairnet, handing out samples at Costco, I was like, Mark and I have had such a similar fucking like. Okay, so here's the thing <laughs> about the fucking samples at Costco <laughs> <laughs> is that it's not Costco sample. Like the Costco's are or the samples are from Costco, but it's not Costco doing the sampling, mm-hmm. like giving out the samples. It's a Different company working inside of Costco. And I didn't know this. It's called like DHS or some shit. 
The part of the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay, and I'm, seriously, I'm not trying. You don't want to deport back home without these with you. Be like, dude, no, you can't. Oh, I don't like this store anymore. But listen, <laughs> I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm not trying to. But, like, this job... <laughs> It's like they put out miniature tamales to <laughs> see who picks the thing. <laughs> but listen, these guys, they hired like a lot of old people and like people with obvious mental disabilities. Uh-huh. And so it was just like me at 18 <laughs> in like a room, a very small room inside of a Costco. And you need to understand that the Costco employees. Oh, elderly and then myself. <laughs> and the Costco employees <laughs> judge you so fucking harshly that most of them won't even make eye contact with your fucking scumbag ass. Yeah. Like you are a piece of dog shit to them. How many people, like when you were doing the samples, would be like. The old. The oh, we're get another one, and like just be bullshit. Like, <laughs> Listen. like oh, they're not gonna recognize me now. Be like you've been here. Seventeen times. Dude, you can't hat. eat this much sausage like, in one day. Well, the <laughs> trick literally just inching it around your head every time. You no, their trick what was you, they would always ask what it was to try and seem like they hadn't been up yeah. there before. Oh, so they come up, like, what is this? Huh. And then it would be the same guy fifteen minutes later. Oh, what's this? Lucky <laughs> charms. But and I'm like, oh, you changed the inflection, so I don't so know what's you. If I if I if I'm together, what you are presenting me, there's like a flaky biscuit with sausage. <laughs> yeah, there's a sausage biscuit piece of shit. No, you have been here. No idea, yeah. people would come up one time I'm doing ice cream vanilla fucking ice cream and I'm pretty sure like little tiny cones or bowls I can't remember exactly this motherfucker comes up reads the sign on the front of the fucking thing looks at it sees me scooping some of it and goes angrily by the way what is it and I was all (laughs) um like what was your whole process there like what what, did you read the sign I saw you read the sign from left to fucking right dude but no hold on you're like you're you're saying like he was being stupid but what if he was like a time traveler (laughs) woke up that in that moment but like what 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 is is this this? (laughs) white goodness that is presented like but no and people didn't know what animal crackers were a lot of the time (laughs) like every like people were perplexed by fucking animal crackers dude you know what people isn't that like mean towards the animals no it's not (laughs) they're not made of animals you know Mm. what people in the mall were baffled by when Annie Ann's introduced the pretzel dog what, 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 uh, what is that it's a pretzel dog. What the fuck do you think it is? It's a hot what dog with a pretzel bun, motherfucker. Like, it's not that hard. Yeah. Either that it's or it's a pretzel with a hot dog bun, but that makes less sense. <laughs> yeah. Or it's either like a doughy pretzel outside. And Especially like, when I'm handing them a sample of it. And be like, it's a pretzel wrapped in a... I mean, it's a hot dog wrapped in a pretzel, man. Just, It's not good. <laughs> but you can eat it if you want. It's not <laughs> great for you, but yeah. it'll be fine. It'll, 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 it'll suffice. suffice. It's not... I mean, it's pretty comparable to a regular hot dog. Yeah. Well, you know, I can't be too <laughs> mad at the uh, can't be too <laughs> mad at the sample swindlers. Yeah. Because I used to do that on Halloween, put on a second mask, and then go back around the neighborhood to try to get back. Well, that's mischievous. That's what Halloween's <laughs> yeah, all about. That's, yeah. that's what Halloween's for. But also at the same time, they could have as many samples as they wanted. We weren't allowed to put a cap on the amount of samples they wanted. So sometimes people would also just stand there just overly, and fucking like, fuck fill up. With yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. Now, see where I uh, grew up, we had a Walmart. Oh, let me take this tray. <laughs> no, really. Like, they would eat the whole fucking thing. I'd be like, cool, I have to cook more of these now. We had a different. Sam's Club in my neighborhood, or right near it. So, I, we didn't have Costco. We did Sam's Club instead, okay. which is the Walmart f- affiliate or whatever. Yes. And uh, so that's where Same I would me. fill up on samples. I loved that shit. And every mm-hmm. time we'd go in there, I'd be like, Mom, this trampoline's only $200. She'd be like, we're not getting a fucking trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a trampoline this, so bad when how I was How about kid? this 17-foot-long... Hershey's bar. How about that? Like, can we do that? Can we do that? You break it up into pieces. It's probably good they didn't give me a trampoline. Like my buddy had one, and he could jump off his shed and uh-huh. like land on it and bounce. And my fat ass, I jumped off and I bounced up and high and weird, and I landed in the springs. Uh-huh. And I was like, God damn it! And so I tried it again. I broke my leg in six. And places. expected a different result, but it just happened again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I guess I'm not meant to bounce. When you said landed in the springs, since you grew up, like, <laughs> <laughs> did you go up in kind of the country of Oregon? Yeah. I was like, I mean, man, it landed in like a hot spring. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh, never mind, never mind. No, it would have been a thorn bush in that <laughs> part of the country. The <laughs> I went like a mile in the woods, landed in the springs. No, the trampoline the springs, the metal part. That's where I landed. We didn't yeah. have a cover on oh, that I definitely shit. would have broken my back if I had <clears> a fucking trampoline. <laughs> So I have to know, like, uh, you, you, did you work in a dispensary as well? I work in a dispensary now. Oh, okay. And this is my right. first dispensary job. It's kind of fucking dope. Like, 
uh, how angry do people like you were kind of hitting on this? Uh, how angry do people get when you ask them for their ID? Okay, and, so and they don't have it. And they don't have it? Yeah, like, do you get, like, do you get people that are like, oh, man, I'll come back later? Or do you get people like, what the fuck, man? Here's, like, a bank card, but I don't care. It's kind of like a mixture because they, like, it's, like, passive aggressiveness to the maximum. Yeah. We're like, I can't even fucking stand in here, man. (laughs) I buy weed from you all the time, man. (laughs) Like, you know me. And I'm like, I don't fucking care. I'm not going to lose my job because I let you fucking stand in here. Get the fuck out, bro. Yep. And, and they know the body thing, and I just look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some but the worst, just walk listen, out. the worst is the old white men who do not want to give you their ID. They are offended by the idea that you can ID them. Yes, it is yeah. amazing. I, uh, is, I, I, uh, I definitely learned to like say like a few things to like kind of disarm like the older. Like, yeah, yeah, kind of alleviate like, the well, stress of having to present like a fucking ID. I'm, I'm like, I'm like I don't know if you're like two ten year olds stacked on top of each other, <laughs> <laughs> or like. You could work for the OLCC, mm-hmm. and let's be real. Or four uh, five-year-olds. Uh, dad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? I don't know what your My dad is. abandoned me when I was a kid. Yeah. I just want to make sure it's yeah. not him. We're two seven-year-olds and one six-year-old. Like, you look like my father, and, yeah. and I really just need to know. I feel um, a connection. <laughs> but, yeah, no, like, or, yeah, so that usually helps. But then you yeah. do get the people that are just like, what the fuck? Can you not see that I am gray? Yeah, I'm and old, like, son. I've seen some shit. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, but if you're walking out with a crutch or like, if you're like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, I'm not gonna let you in. Like, yeah, have you got? Uh, I am gonna wait. Well, that sounded right. I'm gonna let you in. I'm not gonna have to ID you. Yeah, yeah. If you're old as fuck, get the. Nope. Not at my. Has anybody handed you their prison ID yet? Not yet. No. <laughs> I've had that a couple times. Uh, like, I don't have a driver's license. How about my prison ID? I'm like, I don't know, man. Let me yeah. go get my manager. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta ask someone. <laughs> hey, is that accepted? I still don't know. Yeah, I don't think uh, so. Yeah, I, I don't think it. so either. I really do not think, like, there's some things that, like, I have this but little Maybe app it's a like, government ID. <laughs> it is. It is. But, or is it a state ID? I don't know. It, it's, ah. That's fucked up. Um, we're gonna, yeah. I'm going to Google but, like, it. It's like, are you suddenly intimidating me? <laughs> I, I, I beat this. We're trying to apply here. I did this German dude. Uh, you could tell him and his friends were like, and they were, all of his friends had their passports and shit. And he didn't. Uh, he was like, I left at the hotel, man. You should let me in. Um, and I was like, I, I can't do it, man. Like, I really cannot do it. Like, yeah. Uh, and you, your friends are more than welcome to come in. Like, mm-hmm. You can go somewhere else. Like, I'm not trying to. Yeah, you know, maybe they'll night. let you in. And, yep. and his response was like, come on, bro. I'm not a Nazi. And I'm like, I didn't think that <laughs> until now. Like, you don't have to say that. Like, <sighs> Why would you go to... Why? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I didn't... Wasn't gonna... And you could see his friends kind of like... Mm-hmm. What? Not and, a Federalist, bro. Yeah. And it was just... It, <laughs> <laughs> Prison IDs are not valid. <laughs> no, there you go. So, yeah. That's what I was thinking, because it doesn't have, like... Like... Essential it's, information. It's easy. To, it's it's easy to fucking. I feel like it's really easy to get a prison ID. They it's probably really give you for free when you go in. Because they're, from what I've seen, they're pretty basic. Yeah, 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 yeah. from like sure. to work in the prison system. It has like your prison uh, number on it and your fucking name. There's different. I mean, yeah, but no, you, we need like. Be like, why do you still if, have this? If you to cannot get on an airplane, you can't get into a bar. Don't gotta print that's a new how, one, bro. That's the easiest way. Like for like, if this goes viral and trending or whatever. Let it get Hashtag, you're not yeah. welcome. Uh, so no, if, 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 if you can get on an airplane, you can get onto it. You can get yeah. On, you can, I just think of it like that. Well, it's like at, at a dispensary, we have to check all IDs. Yeah. No matter how old they look. Like, it's not like selling yeah. alcohol in a convenience store where if they yeah. look over 26, you don't have to yeah, fucking exactly. ID them. Every like, you have person. to ID every single asshole, yeah. every single dickhead. And every single son of a bitch. And every time they come in. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. even there are people that are like, I was in here earlier. Literally, like, they well, they walk out the door ID, and yeah. then walk back in. I have to ID them again. Yeah. Like, if they leave the fucking, like, doors at all, the floor at all, I have to fucking ID them again when they yeah. come back in. And there's people that, like, when I'm, like, working the doors, I'm, they'll come back, uh, they'll go smoke or do mm-hmm. God knows what for a little bit, and they come back in, and I'll be like, hey, let me check your ID. Yeah. Like, you don't fucking remember me? And I'm like, hey, don't you yell at me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> second off, uh, uh, can I can literally show you that the count's like 300 people right now. Mm-hmm. So sorry if I don't remember a white dude. Did we have a um, moment? I had, I, I made a post about it, but it's super true what happened. Like, this guy was like, hey man, uh, can you help me find my friend? He's all drunk and shit. I'm like, well, what does he look like? And he was like, all right, he's like a white guy, he has like a beard, uh, flannel shit, black glasses. <laughs> and I'm like, 
<laughs> Pick one, motherfucker. Here, <laughs> just yes. take one of these assholes. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, I, it was, what do you look? Just look. Just yeah. look around. There's mo- like make a new friend. Yeah. I don't know. Like I'm sure that one will like you too. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe that's why they left. <laughs> just call so you're alone. Yeah, right right friend's name. He'll get used to it eventually. Yeah. 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 He's probably thinking about changing into something like that anyway. The uh, the harshest reaction. You know, a lot of people will just you tell them you need to have your ID and they'll be like oh, okay and just walk out all sad sack mm-hmm. but the harshest reaction i've ever had was this dude that came into right down the street can in the city that could not he came in and just looked crazy like right off the bat just scary mm-hmm. and he was like are you going to tell me i have to have an id to come in here he was like 25 years old something like that and i was like uh yeah, yeah. and he goes i don't have a driver's license and i was like do you have any photo id and he mm-hmm. goes no i just want to buy weed and I was like, well, I'm sorry, you can't. And he went, fuck you. And then turned around, and he went and slammed the door yep. as he mm-hmm. walked outside. And something, cl- it takes a lot to, like, push me over the edge where I confront. Usually I'm just like, all right, asshole, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But, like, something switched in my brain where I was like, I'm going to confront this dude, which was a stupid idea. Yeah. This guy had already, like, presented Shown to me aggression. that he was pretty, yeah, that he's pretty aggressive. But at the same stable. time, he's on our turf slamming <laughs> our shit. Exactly. Fuck that. As soon as he slammed the door, I was like, motherfucker. Yep. And I stand up, and I walk over, and I swing the door open. So I can walk out there and be like, don't you ever fucking slam this door again. And right as I'm about to, I open the door, and right as I'm about to start yelling at him, he is face to face with this, you know, the people that live around here, like in Southwest Portland, mm-hmm. they're typically, it was like a 60 year old couple in like their, their, uh, Dog power afternoon walking. power walking, <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> clothes, you know, after dinner walking, uh, sweatsuits or whatever. Uh-huh. And, um, just They're having a nice little Harold walk. Yep. needs a new pair. <laughs> he is two feet away from them, looks right into their faces, and just yells the N word as loud as I've <laughs> ever heard it come And they just uh, stop. What, were, was anybody in that equation? Uh, nope. Nobody okay. black. All right, yep. Wait, was he using cool. it just as a curse word? He, like yep. he was just, he was just so mad. He was just so mad. He walked out. They were the closest thing to him, and he just yelled it right in their faces, and they stopped. And I'm standing there, and they look at me, <laughs> and then he turns and just walks off, just with his fist clenched, mm-hmm. just angry as shit. And I was like, I just waved at the people, like, just keep walking, yeah, yeah, just keep walking. Just keep yeah. And they were like, they just walked on, and as they went past, I was like, he just came in here and was acting crazy. He's just, he's unstable. You guys should just get home, you know, stay away. Yeah. From him. Like, but goddamn, I'm glad that uh, there was that pause between, because I'm so glad I didn't say that. Like, 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 I, dude, I. <laughs> Get his attention Man. back on me, goddamn. This button. There's so many times, like, it's... I, my job is very fun for the most part. I get to mm-hmm. meet a lot of really fucking cool people. Yeah. Um, there was It was kind of cold out one night. This woman brought me a pair of gloves and a cup of coffee. And so, I'm like, that is super dope of you. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I, I met, like, you know, I had some of the coolest conversations with some of, like, the, the homeless people around mm-hmm. Portland. Just random people walking around. It's great. Um, but then there's just, uh, I never, there was, okay, there was like this guy, uh, he had a giant chest tattoo that we could see of an eagle and he, uh, he looked like a cross between Modest Yahoo and Children of the Corn and he was a short dude with really curly long hair. Uh, and I'm not like, I never judge people by the way they look, but something was like, you chose that tonight. Yeah. I'm not watch it. Like, I'm just gonna, you know, like... <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep an eye out. Times, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I've seen somebody that I'm like, I don't know if I like their whole atmosphere or vibe. Yeah, yeah. And I've been completely wrong. Yeah. That's most, happened to me as well. Most of the time, I'm really not there. Yeah, yeah. Gut um, instinct is usually good to go by. Uh, yeah, where was I? Fuck. Just lost that story. Eagle chest. Huh? Children of the Corn. Yeah, okay. And then, like, okay, yeah, thank you. Eagle thank Josh. you. Children of the Corn. Slipknot lyrics. I was going to say, is that Beck? Uh, uh, no, so, like, and then he ended up getting kicked out because he was hyper aggressive with a few females. Mm. Uh, ladies, women, sorry, whatever. Uh, and it just was it? gross. He was gross. He was fucking gross. Like, yeah. he was a gross dude, and I'm like, mm, called it. Uh, so he got escorted out. He, I, he dropped like a baby when I first confronted him. Like, you have you ever like scolded 
So oh, like, oh like, yeah. Start seeing a, somebody scold a toddler, and there's like no. Yeah, like, and their shoulders go down. That. Yep, he did that, mm. and <clears throat> his girlfriend was like yelling in my face, like you're a piece of shit, you can't kick him out, blah 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 blah, and and then as soon as he dropped like a baby, she like. And left. Yep. She just like looked disgusted <laughs> and just took off. And it was like, cool. Well, this night's not going the way you wanted it to. <laughs> so I pick him up. Bro, I carry him outside. Um, he he says he wants to fight me. Like hits like a karate pose, and I'm like, yes. you, you're so drunk, and I'm very sober. Like, yeah, just don't even. Like, I'm hoping that a, that a listener of this podcast also. Like me, thought that you meant he literally dropped a baby the first time. You I did. Yeah. I <laughs> thought he did, and I was like, "How did you get that baby into the like, club?" Well, I don't like even a use baby. The hair it's on like you. See, yeah, like, what he <laughs> said was dropped like a baby. What yeah. I heard was dropped uh, like a baby. baby. Yeah. No, me too. <laughs> <laughs> like he was, was trying to figure out was that a baby or a toddler that yeah. he dropped? <laughs> How did like he get into the bar? He might have been a little bit older than that. He was acting up in the club, and I confronted him, and he just dropped the baby. I was like, bro, uh, you yeah. can't just be dropping it on the ground. Like, yeah, that baby has yeah, feelings. Gotta hold it tightly really in busy. the bar. Yeah. 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 Unless you bring that thing in. Like, unless you want your baby <laughs> smushed. taking a risk already. Smush, smooshed or smushed. Uh, you don't want your baby like that. Maybe so. a fucking accomplice um, here. <laughs> anyway, uh, so then he wanders off, uh, goes around the corner. Then he comes back. Uh, and then his friend's with him, and his friend's is this big, like, Indian dude. Like, he's just huge guy. And they're yelling at my buddy Tyler, um, no who another guard was. <laughs> not you. Not not this Tyler. Uh, it's funny to say when you have the same first name. So. Yeah. No relation. Uh, <laughs> no relation at all. Just because their first name is Tyler does not mean they're, like, uh, married. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> side note, like I, I there was I'm um, in a, a group on Facebook, and there's like this legit person named Cameron Keith, and I'm like, <laughs> well, uh, we're friends forever now. <laughs> um, so then his friend comes back, and then I just see the little modest Yahoo dude uh, punch Tyler straight in the throat, nice. like just deck him in the throat, and then stand over. I'm like, damn, he's kind of because t- you might have met him before. He's like the big white dude. Uh, he's like six. Seven, about like 280. He's a big boy and just drops him. So I'm like, oh, we got a whole situation now. Yep. Um, <laughs> so I run over there. I like, and, God, it just, ha- it, I don't understand why people go out and know they can't handle their alcohol and or rejection and continue to go out. <laughs> like, if I went into the ocean and I kept getting bit by a shark, guess what? Probably won't go back to that. Could avoid the water. Like, I wouldn't go back to the like. I wouldn't swim like ever. I wouldn't even take a bath. Like, <laughs> I might I go would, back, like, but I'd only boogie like, board. Yeah, I would just stand on <laughs> the beach question. and be like, just yep, <laughs> Tupac um, in it. Like fuck, fuck you, you Jaws. Yeah. No. Good question. <laughs> yeah. If you were to so if you met Cameron Keith, yeah. in real life, and oh, you guys shit. fell in love and got married, yeah, would he go by um, Cameron Cameron? Or would you go by Keith Keith? Keith Keith. Uh, that, was, that was pretty cool. Uh, no, I think if that were to ever happen, uh, I think like the world would somehow uh, uh, collapse, and then the baby would be the Antichrist. Uh, so that's what like I yeah, think that's how the Infinity the baby War would started. be so white, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? What you white dudes fucking? Was that not how the Infinity War the started? The baby would be so white that our planet would start to reflect too much light. Dude. Yeah, it would. It would. It would. It would. It would, it would uh, All right, we're about to run out of space. I'm <laughs> running out of batteries, so we're gonna wrap it up with that. I wish we had a name to say thanks for listening to this. Uh, um, this here, maybe I can. I'll, I'll dub in a name later, right here. Thanks for listening uh, to Working Comics. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Working out. We'll see. Fuck. Later, Work in progress. <laughs> Work in progress. Something. Work. Maybe. Work. That's the... Work. I don't know.